Okay. Are we good? Sorry about that. My stuff was acting up there for a moment. Do I sound good? Okay. I don't look good, but I sound good, I hope. All right, looks like they're going to start soon. Yeah, well, I streamed earlier today, and you caught me towards the end of it, so I felt like I was going to do another one. I'm just getting down the final lineups and stuff here for uh, Longwood. Number 20. Napper is number one. I didn't know exactly what time... Since I was told there was one starting time at like, there was one starting time at like 9.43 and then the other one said it was going to start at like 9.52 or something. So I was a little concerned. Can you take a Max off of your device? Because I can't watch it. Hold on, excuse me. It says it's on too many Okay, I'm back in. Yeah, I should expect that. I'm not in the greatest spot. Did Purdue win their game versus Grambling State? Uh, I think they're about to. I think they're about to win their game versus Grambling State. All right, so it looks like they're gonna going live with the game any second. I got to put the poll in the chat quick. Longwood Lancers versus Houston, eh, Houston, Houston Cougars. Of course, winner of this game does play Texas A&M, who did beat uh, Texas A&M, did beat Nebraska earlier today. So let's see how that goes here for Houston. My goodness. Every time I get a phone call, hold on, guys. Okay, just had to check something out real quick. Okay, talking about Griff Aldreich, the head coach for Longwood, his sixth season there at the helm. 109 and 85 record. And looks like Houston will win the tip off. They have the ball. Shed's got it. Shed's got it here for Houston. They bring it up the ice. Throw into the corner. Layup is good. Good start here for Houston. Longwood, this is their second appearance in the NCAA tournament. Give it over to Grandlin. Grandlin over to Houston. He tries a three. That one no good. Rebound controlled here by Houston, and they bring it up to the court. Here's Shed. Shed with the ball. Looks. Shed. Oh, hits off a player. Uh, looks like it hit off a Tucker and it goes out of bounds. Will. Hmm. All right. Shed's got it here for Houston. Feeds. Crier three. It's good. 
Cryer buries a three to open up. It's already five nothing. All right, here we go. Granlin's got it. Granlin looks. Gets it over to Napper. Napper. Granlin drives in, loses the ball, and stolen away. Francis steals it away, gets it towards Shed. Shed back towards Cryer, over to Shed. Shed with the ball at the half court. Francis has got the ball. Okay. Does a little screen. Francis over towards Cryer. Cryer, step back three. That one off. Tipped back out to Shed. Over to Cryer. Fakes the shot. Drives into the paint. Okay, kicks it back out. Shed drives in. Feeds. Pump fake. Shot on the way. No good. And rebound controlled here by Longwood. Napper's got it. Longwood's got the ball. They feed it over. Houston, and that one's knocked away here by Jamal Shedd. Here comes Shedd the other way here for the Cougars. Shedd drives in, loses the ball, but he gets it right back. Feeds it to Cryer at the top of the key. Cryer back to Shedd. Shedd. Cryer looks. Ooh, Francis nearly lost the ball. That one batted away here by Houston, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be still Houston's ball. There's a guy on Longwood's name, Longwood's team named Houston. So, all right, Shed to inbound here for the Cougars. Cougars inbound the ball. Look, tries to get it into Cryer, back towards Shed at the top of the key. Shed has to lob it up, and he gets it home. Somehow he puts it in. Mighty says new to this stream. Thanks for streaming a game. Yeah, no problem. All right, here we go. Christmas is, is that Christmas? Jeez. Grandlin gets it into the corner. Grandlin feeds. Grandlin over Massey. Massey tries to get it off a Cougar player. And the Cougars keep it in. Turnover is already for Longwood here in the first three minutes. Francis has got the ball. Looks, drives in, tries to feed it back towards Shed, and it goes uh, towards Sharp out of bounds, but it'll be Longwood ball. I'll put the poll in the chat in just a moment. Wow, it's like I'm a ghost. Is this thing on? Taps keyboard. Yeah, you're on. Sorry. All right, Longwood's got the ball. They bring it up the court. It's Napper. Napper brings it up, feeds. They're not really talking much about the game. Massey. Massey to Granlin. Pump fake that direction, and it's knocked away. Great defense by Houston. Shed's got the ball. Shed at the top of the key. He's going to try a three, and that one's off. Rebound by Cryer. Cryer shoots a three, and he hits. Wow. 10 nothing in Houston early on in the game. Talk about Houston defense right now. Only allowed one shot to Longwood. And Houston has a 10 0 lead. Wow. They are dominating tonight. Rearing my good old Red Sox hat from earlier, guys. With a team like Longwood. The point I struck Jeremy hasn't shown up. I'm I'm a little shocked he hasn't yet.
They should change their name to Not For Longwood. <laughs> PT. Jeez. Oh, yeah, today's Friday, so PT is not streaming today. Yeah, they haven't even got a shot on... They haven't even shot a field goal yet, so... They suck. They suck. I think they're... They drank a little suck ass through a straw today. They're playing like garbage. They playing like garbage. Not a good start for Longwood. Already down by 10. To be fair, Houston has been one of the better teams all season. So I've streamed a few of their games. So Here at Longwood, we've been churning out up. Uh, we've been churning out graduates for decades. Many have gone to become successful career suppressors. Jeez. You might have to switch brackets. Nope. I haven't. I put Houston's my national champion, RC. I picked Houston to be my national champion. So Houston is my national champ. Raymond Walker Jr. has missed his last nine games with a knee injury. All right, Longwood's got the ball. Napper brings it up, feeds it over to Grandlin. Grandlin into the corner to Richards, back to Napper. Massey's got it, back to Napper, back towards Massey. Massey stops, spins, fires one, and gets it home. First shot of the game, or second shot of the game here for Longwood. They finally get on the board. Shed's got the ball. Looks, feeds to Cryer. Cryer back to Shed. Thought about shooting a three, but he held up. Cryer. Shed in the corner. Ten on the shot clock. Shed drives in. Feeds. Good pump fake. Hereby. Whoa. Bad shot. Goes out of. Like Cryer lost it. They're already going to another TV timeout. May have slipped off of Francis's hand. So they're going to go to a TV timeout. 15 16 to go here in the half. Houston is up 10 to 2. Oh, Spaceman. Yeah, Spaceman. Snowman's here saying Longwood College, Jerome Kersey's alma mater. Alma mater. Okay. Got Iowa on Holy Cross tomorrow. Women Hoops, 2 30 p.m. EST. I'm going to have to do the same thing I do in Snowman stream all the time. Play it in the background. Get his watch hours up. I always have Snowman stream in the background for some reason. Yeah, I had this stream set up since like earlier today, but apparently it didn't schedule. So I was like, hello. We're on pace for an 80 to 16 final. Oh, we could be. You streamed baseball today? Let's hear about it when you get a chance. Uh, I did stream baseball. Yes, I did stream a I streamed only seven innings because I had to I had to go to some appointment that I forgot about. I had a commitment that I forgot about that I was reminded to do. I'm like, oh shoot. Totally forgot about it when I was doing the stream. But uh 
And the seven innings I streamed, the Red Sox lost, were losing five to one. And they did not play good. This guy named Mitch White. Uh, this guy named Mitch White for the Blue Jays absolutely dominated the Red Sox. Absolutely dominated. Like, he was unstoppable, untouchable. But uh, I don't know where he came from, but he is very good at pitching. He pitched like five and two-thirds innings, gave up one run, and uh, came out of the game. And Orioles, uh, Orioles, Toronto relief pitchers did their job. Oh, Purdue just beat Grambling State by 28. Oh, there's a kid who already fell asleep. There's a kid who fell asleep on the watching the game. Uh, I haven't followed much on it recently, Orioles Bird Watcher. I'm so confused by it. Like, what? All right, here we go. Houston brings it up the court here for Longwood. There's a guy on Longwood's team named Houston with the last name of Houston. Houston gets it to Massey. Back to Napper. Napper looks, gets it over to Massey near the half court. Massey with some good dribbling. Feeds it back to Houston. Houston, little move, being double teamed. He drives in, looking, feeds it back to Napper, top of the key, lobs it up. That yeah, one's off. Rebound controlled by Shed. Shed's got it, brings it up to court. Cryer, open three, no good. Rebound controlled by Dunn. Gets it back to Shed, top of the key. Shed. Shed, Dunn. Cryer, three, that one off. Rebound, Roberts tried to get to it, but a foul. Oh, there's a foul called against Longwood. Yeah, so maybe Bird Watcher, maybe we'll have a Discord chat after this game. Talk about that. All right, here we go. So it's going to be Houston ball after the long one foul, after the loose ball foul. They're just talking about uh, the long one head coach. 14 27 to go in the half. Houston to inbound. Shed gets it to Cryer at the top of the key. Cryer feeds back towards Shed. What a good move. He brings it to the paint. Floater is good. So Jamal Shed getting really good. It's back to a 10 point game. Napper brings it up for Longwood. Napper looks over to Houston. Houston drives in, lays it up. That one knocked away. And here comes Jeff Walker. Gets it towards Shed. Shed to Roberts. Roberts drives into the paint, lays it up with a sky hook, fires it up. It's no good, but we got a foul called here against Longwood. My quickest take Otani helped his best friend pay off debts. Neither understood the ramifications. They changed their story to keep Otani out of it, but that has only made it worse of a scandal. That's all that's all I've heard. Well, if Otani is in it. You got to punish Otani. If he's in on it, you get out Otani. It's like you go after Otani. First free throw is missed. If Otani was involved, then you punish Otani. Because by the CBA rules for, I think it's said by the CBA rules that MLB has, a, MLB has agreed to, you got to punish Otani for it. Because he was involved in this scandal. So you got to suspend him. Second free throw by Roberts. He makes it. And it's a 13 to 2 game. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. 13 to 2 game. Houston gets it out back towards Napper. Napper looking, gets it towards Christmas. Drives in. We got a foul. Oh, it looks like a travel. Travel violation called. So Tani basically messed up by just trying to be a good dude to his best mate. Classic story, best friends, one succeeds. The other screws around. This is like the biggest version of that. Pretty much. Yeah, it's sad. Yep. 
Houston's got the ball. They nearly lose it. Whoa. Look like Laugh nearly lost. No, not Laugh. Cryer nearly lost the ball. We got a whistle and another foul against Longwood. What up, Thomas? Dallas, I streamed your Blue Jays. Now into the corner. Roberts has got the ball back to Cryer. Top of the key. Cryer in the corner. Looks, gets it to Sharp. Sharp drives, looks back towards Cryer. Cryer loses the ball. It's going to go out of bounds. And it's going to be Longwood ball. I'll drop it for halftime. Just wanted to get that out. Yeah. I mean, you can still talk about it, Birdwatcher, if you want to. I saw that you did enjoy the game. I didn't like that. Dapper's got the ball here for Longwood. Currently down by 12. Feeds. Nice pass. Oh, that one knocked away. Garland shoots. That one just goes off. Richards tried to shoot it for Longwood, and we got a foul against Houston. Caps and Canes and shoot. Whoa, Sampson. Kelvin Sampson, the Houston head coach, gets like mad at literally everything. So Emmanuel Richards at the line. He averages 4.4 at 4.4 points per game. He makes the first. What's up, Pure? Yeah, guys, the only reason I really wanted to do this one was because I had to cut my baseball stream short. So I just feel like, eh, I'm going to make it up for everybody. Do a little game here. Go Blue Jays. Suck it, Red Sox. Yeah, well, we got a better spring training record, Dallas. I'm still trying to figure out why you're streaming from a Friar Festival tent. Not a Friar Festival tent. It's a ceiling. As you can tell, I just threw my pen up in the air showing you that it's a ceiling. Uh, I had an appointment I had to go to and I didn't, and I totally forgot about it. Roberts makes the second free throw. I realized I had an appointment and my sister's like, hey, dummy, you got an appointment to go to. Him. Oh, I gotta go. I forgot. So I... Whoa, there's a shot here by Sharp, just goes wide. Rebound controlled by Houston. Wilson's got the ball. Wilson drives, feeds. Walker shoots, no good, but we got a foul. We got a foul against Houston. And Houston uh, looks like, eh. Looks like Walker's going to go to the line here for a pair of free throws. I've seen what documentary on Netflix? The Friar Festival. Yeah, well, uh, my Friar Festival tent here is uh, really good, isn't it? Walker at the free throw line. This is the first. All right, so here we go. This is going to make it. And looks like he made the free throw. He did. Longwood down by 10 again. Houston's got the ball. Gets it to Christmas. Christmas over to Grandlin. Grandlin looking in the corner. Feeds back towards Christmas. Christmas has got the ball. Looks, drives into the paint. Feeds back to Massey. Massey towards Houston. Lays it up off the rim. Rebound controlled. Up oh, it goes off of fingertips. And that's going to be Longwood ball. Longwood ball, and they're gonna. It looks like they're going to a TV timeout, and they will. Houston dominating Longwood right now, fourteen to four, here in the first half. P.S. I was telling Fitz, how can he do a Longwood game, but no, Ron Jeremy in the chat. And where's Ron Jeremy? And where is he? You know, it's actually hilarious. I have not seen Ron Jeremy in a while. Seriously, I have not seen Ron Jeremy in any one of my chats for a while now. Watch, she just randomly shows up. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen Ron yet. 
I saw Ron yesterday in uh in your chat. Uh well, the all other account, Orioles Bird Watcher. I saw on Pierce. I would like to ask Houston if it feels good to be probably <laughs> temporary. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I want Houston to win this one. You know, I better do this quick. I want Houston to win this one because I have them uh, winning. I had Houston winning the entire championship, uh, winning, winning the entire thing. So I kind of want Houston to win since, you know, they're my national championship team. Put something in the poll. I forgot to put the poll in the chat like an idiot. I always did that last season in baseball. I always forgot to put the poll in the chat. I really, I randomly picked Illinois because I'm in Illinois. I picked Illinois to go to the final four and lose to Alabama. Houston's record was very close to the O's. Grapefruit League record. They must be okay. They're a pretty good team. I've streamed a couple of their games uh, this season. They're a pretty good team. That's why I picked them to go to the national champion. That's why I picked them to go all the way. It's because they're the stream. They're the team I've streamed the most out of most every college team. Oh my goodness! They're advertising for the NBA play in tournament. <sighs> But, oh, I don't care about the NBA play-in tournament. I could care less. Uh, so who do I got beating UConn? Uh, I don't remember. I'd have to look. It was a really good team, I believe. Oh, I climbed back up to 14th. Let's go. I'm back up to 14th in the in my bracket league with a in our school. Uh I had UConn losing to San Diego State. I had Houston losing or I had UConn losing to San Diego State in the Elite Eight. So the Elite Eight, I had UConn losing in the to San Diego State. Uh, screw San Diego. Screw UConn. You long wood Christmas is gonna have the ball over to Massey. Massey drives in, feeds it back to Christmas. Christmas. Grandlin. Grandlin back to the blue, back to the top of the key. Wide open three from Napper. That one's off. Rebound controlled by Houston. Fight for that ball. Walker trying to fight for that ball. Jump ball. Longwood's got the possession arrow, so. Oh, Caps go, says Orioles bird watching. Tournament summary so far. Talking about Colorado Colorado State defeated Florida 102 to 100. All right, here we go. Wow, Alabama's destroying Charleston right now. Christmas has got the ball in the corner. Oh, we got to travel. Another travel against Longwood, so that's going to be Houston's ball. I only know one Christmas, Lloyd from Dumber and Dumber. Yeah, that was the most obvious travel I think I've ever seen. Shed brings it up the court here for Houston, up by 10. Shed lobs it into Walker. Walker to Roberts. Oh, tries to get it back over to Sharp. But it goes out of bounds, and it'll be long with ball. So welcome in, everybody. I did stream a Red Sox game earlier. Um, I'm doing another one on uh, Monday night. But I won't be able to do the Tuesday night, Tuesday game, because that one's at 2.05 p.m. EST. All right, long one up again. 
They bring it up the floor. Napper, wide open, doesn't shoot a three. Feeds it over to Christmas in the corner. Christmas, bad pass, gets it back towards Napper. Napper in the corner to Massey. He'll try a three, and he hits the three. First three of the game. So Massey gets the three. Houston inbounds the ball. They get it to Shed. Shed brings it up the court. Shed in the corner, looks, picks up his dribble, gets it to Roberts. Roberts nearly loses the ball. Roberts looking, feeds to Shed. Wide open three is off the rim. Rebound controlled by Napper. Here comes Longwood the other way. Christmas in the corner. He'll try a three. And that one is off. Rebound controlled by Zapala. Zapala fighting with Sharp for that ball. Looks like it went out off of Sharp and out of bounds. They're saying long one ball, looks like. Go Blue Jays. What's that blue bird flying beneath me? What blue bird? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Fourteen to seven in favor of Houston. Seventeen on the shot clock. Longwood to inbound the ball. Napper has the ball here for Longwood. Napper down to ten on the shot clock. Napper feeds over in the corner. Richards, Richards fades. He shoots and he gets it in. It's down to a five point game. Down to ten minutes to go in the first half. Shed to inbound. Nope, Shed not to inbound. He does have the ball, actually. Shed over to Roberts. Roberts back to uh, to Sharp. To Shed at the top of the key. Shed looks. We got a foul. Got a push foul. And looks like it's against Longwood. Longwood coach. Honestly, guys, the Longwood coach kind of looks like Will Farrell, but a little bit bigger. Shed's got the ball for Houston. Looks to Cryer. Cryer drives, stops, feeds out to the blue line for three point line. Richards to Cryer in the corner. Cryer fakes the shot. Shed open three ball. Good from three. 17 to nine. As Longwood inbounds, he gets it in. Napper's got it. Feeds into the corner. Richards. Christmas loses the ball, but gets it back over to Napper. Napper. Looks. Gets it over to Massey. Back towards Napper. A three ball. Barely hits the rim. And Houston's got the ball. Shed with it. Shed. Brings it up into the paint. Lays it. Feeds. Oh, what a dunk. Shed with a dunk. Shed over to Francis, and Francis dunks it home. Come on, Logwood. This is what makes the tournament the best. I miss following it like I used to. Ten-point lead for Houston again. Here's Napper with the ball. Looks, gets it to Earth's Christmas. Grimmett. Nice little move. Pass. Broke it up. Oh, it looked like a hit off of Houston. Looks like a hit off of Shed's arm. But they're saying, no, it's going to be Houston ball. Well, I'm a replica of Greg Popovich, apparently. You do not look a thing like Greg Popovich. Too old. You're too young to look like Greg Popovich. crier has got it here for Houston. Back to Shed over to Cryer. Cryer. Cryer in the corner looking. Gets it over into the corner. Sharp. Sharp. Looks. Roberts, back towards Cryer, over to Shed. Shed, looking. Shed, trying to avoid Massey. Shed lays it up with the left hand, and he gets it home. Down to, back to a 12-point lead here for Houston, 21-9. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. Napper looks to Houston, over to Grandlin. Grandlin. Looks over to Tucker, and now it's stolen away. Sharp lays it up. That one off. Rebound Cryer puts it in back in. 23 to 9. Just a big steal. Now 14 point lead. Napper 
looking. Oh, nearly another turnover. Houston still got it here for Longwood. Houston looking towards Massey into the corner as Tucker tried to jam it in, but we got a foul. Tucker's going to go to the line for a pair of free throws. All right, so we're going to go to another TV timeout. 23 to 9. Houston on top here in the first half. Can we try and squeeze in a boom ghost to dynamite call? Maybe. I'm not sure if that was a compliment or so. I just got to wait a bit and then I will look like him. No. No, you ain't going to look like Greg Popovich. I don't know why people would think, hey, this guy looks like Greg Popovich. We got to see another hey, bird watcher. When do you think the next baseball game is? As I know, my Red Sox play on Monday night at 8 o'clock. My Red Sox play Monday. Hmm. Apparently, YouTube is saying that I have 976 subs, but then when I check in on YouTube Studio, it says 975. Birdwatcher thinks he's done with the spring. Well, I'm going to cover one more spring training game, and then I think I'm going to be done with spring as well. Then I'm going to start covering the Red Sox real games. Um, the Red Sox open up the season in Seattle. They will play the Seattle Mariners on Thursday night. It will follow... Uh, with a four-game series as well, I believe, in Oakland. And then they wrap up the West Coast trip with the trip to the Angels, playing the Angels. And then they play their first home series against Baltimore. Yeah, Orioles bird watcher, you'll laugh. We had a rain delay. We got a rain delay to start my game. We had a rain delay. Can you believe that? A rain delay. Yep, rain delay. Greatest thing in the world. Had to rain delay to start out the game. That's tough, opening on the road against the top of the Mariners' rotation. Uh, temporary, the Red Sox rotation was announced. Uh, they, I can't remember exactly in order, but they said it was Bayo, Whitlock, Houck, uh, Pavetta, and there was another guy. can't remember exactly off the top of my head who they said it was. It was not Cooper Criswell. Chris Well is going to go to the AAA to start out the year, which I'm kind of bummed out about. Maybe I should cover the Rays if you want to guarantee non rainouts. Chris Well? Um, Chris Well, uh, he, they're saying from what I'm hearing, he's going to go down to Worcester to start out the season, which I think is stupid. But. Apparently, the Red Sox per Joely Rodriguez over Cooper Criswell. I hate Joely Rodriguez. I had to step away for a minute. How did Houston jump from 14 to 23? Just hitting a bunch of layups. Just hitting a bunch of shots. All right. 23 to 9, Houston on top. Bah. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's official that Chris Well is going to start in AAA, but I would like him to start like as the long man, like the long, the guy who can pitch a bunch of innings in the bullpen. Tucker at the free throw line here for Longwood, and he's going to make the first free throw. It's down to a 13 point game. Tucker is going to make the second. It's a 12-point game. As Shed has to inbound for Houston. Shed gets it to Sharp. Now gets it to Shed. Back towards Sharp. He's just waiting for a play. Roberts to Shed. Shed kicks it in. 
Francis Dunn shoots and he buries it home. Good shot there by Dunn. An 11 2 run here by Houston in the last two and a half minutes of play. Knapper's got the ball for Longwood, gives it into Tucker. That shot blocked by Lath. Shed. Oh, nice little move. Dunn lays it in with the left hand. Nice little move. Wow, unbelievable. Houston's got the ball. Houston gets it into Massey. Massey to Napper. Napper in front of the Houston bench. Now to the top of the key. Eight seconds to go. Napper, Tucker, little shot. Good. It's a 13 to 27 game. Six minutes to go in the first. As Tucker made that last shot. Shed's got the ball. He gets it. Gets it to Sharp. Sharp back to Shed. Shed to Roberts. Roberts. Looks, gets it to Dunn. Dunn fakes the shot. Looking, fires one up. He misses it, but a foul. Orioles Birdwatcher saying, wow, I'm looking at it for the first time. That's so unfair. The Sox start the season with a 10-game West Coast trip. That's ridiculous. I know. I mean, I guess it's nice to get Oakland and L.A. out of the way, but still. <sighs> yeah. Seattle. L.A., the Angels, and – no, Seattle, Oakland, and then the Angels. And then we play Baltimore to kick off our, the 2024 home seat, home opener. Done at the free throw line. He's going to make the first one. It's not a great start. That's the only tough matchup is the Seattle series. That is going to be tough. It's like that is uh, it's Brian Bayo versus somebody. I can't remember. I'd have to look. All right, done to make the second free throw. Shoots it. And he misses and he makes it. Yep, yeah, Brian Bayo versus Luis Castillo on opening day. That is a little nightmare. That's a nightmare. Luis Castillo is gonna crush this Red Sox. That crush him. Napper's got the ball for a long one. Man, he's been in the game like the entire day. Long Tucker loses the ball in the paint and stolen away here by Sharp. Sharp's got the ball, nearly loses it. Sharp drives in, lays it up, and that one's off. Rebound controlled by Longwood. Christmas has got the ball. Christmas gets it to Houston. Napper in the corner, no good. Rebound by Tucker. And we got a foul. The O series. I think you dodge a bullet. Burns doesn't line up. He should start the game before against Kansas City, so you'd miss him. Yeah. Um, but I I decided I will not stream the Red Sox uh home opener game. I know it's I know, I know, but I won't be able to do it. I realize my school work is ahead of my streaming, so Our career. There's a couple of games in May that I won't be able to do. There's one of them. There was one Red Sox game I think was on at like 11 a.m. on a Thursday. Like in the middle of May. It's like, ugh. Yeah, we also play the Angels in our second home series of the year. So we we get the Houston, we get LA done like right away. Don't even have to play the Angels after it after April. Massey brings it in for Longwood, and now it's stolen away. Now it's stolen away here by Wilson. Wilson's got the ball. He gets it over to Cryer. Cryer at the, near the corner. Cryer in in the corner near the Longwood bench. Cryer over to Dunn. Dunn. Done. Looking. Drives into the paint. Feeds Wilson. He tries a three. And there's a long range missile. Boom goes the dynamite. 
absolute long range, 32 to 13. Houston with the lead, four and a half minutes to go. Napper's got the ball. Napper looks, passes it into Christmas, into the corner. Massey drives in, and that was denied immediately by Roberts. Cryer brings it up the floor here for Houston. Over to Wilson. Wilson. Now Francis back to Cryer. Cryer to Dunn in the corner. Thought about shooting it, but he doesn't. Back to Cryer, top of the corner, or top of the key. Gets it into Dunn. He loses the ball. Goes out of bounds. Looks like Houston's going to get the ball back. Ten seconds to shoot. Yeah, the Boston Marathon game, traditional early start. Uh, it's like 11, 10 a.m. I believe it's against like the Cleveland Guardians. There it is. Now all we need is pass it to the man. Wow, JMU is crushing Wisconsin. 25 to 16. 3, 3.30 to go in the first half. Wilson lost it. Oh, we got a whistle here by the referee. What's going on here? Oh, we're going to get a one and one opportunity. Wow, we got a one and one opportunity here for Houston. Shooting one free throw. I'm confused. Why? Oh, yeah, I forget. Birdwatcher, it's like 10 a.m. or 9 a.m. for you in Thailand. So you can stay here as long as you want. Cryer at the free throw line. He's gonna make the first one. So he gets another he gets another free throw here. 405 to go here in the first half. Houston up by 20 to start out the game. And the second one is good. It's a 34 to 13 lead here for Houston. Napper brings up the ball here for Longwood. Down by 21. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Napper at the top of the key makes a uh, crier fall down. Napper shoots, just misses, and rebound controlled by Wilson. Wilson brings up the ball. Wilson gets it to crier with a move over to Wilson. Wilson to Dunn. Dunn fires one. That one's off rebound controlled by Napper. Napper brings it up, and now it's stolen away. Wow, nobody saw him. Cryer, three ball, good. Splash there by Cryer. Wow. Napper's got the ball down by 24. Longwood not having a good half. Napper, now it is Apollo. Back to the three-point line. Over to Massey, corner three, and that one's good. Wow. This has been an absolute dominating game. Cryer's got the ball at the top of the key. Houston up by 21. Under three minutes to go here in the first half. Cryer. Now he tries a three. And that one's off rebound. Hits off Walker. And it's going to go out of bounds. It looks like it'll be long wood ball. And are they going to go to a TV timeout? They will. They will go to a TV timeout. Houston. Just Houston with a 21-point advantage here over Longwood. Birdwatcher's saying, oh, Birdwatcher saying 9.30, out on the balcony, sipping coffee, but about to go Jot to watch John Boy's take on Ori Orioles season preview. <sighs> yeah, I watch John Boy Media talk about the Orioles season. Oh, hold on. Just a second. Just a second, chat.
Got the Boston Red Sox hoodie out. Got the Sox hoodie. Oh, there he is, guys. There he is. Longwood Lancers. I think I found the perfect team for me. Told you he'd show up. Ron, you are so late. Well, I made about five jokes with you and Longwood earlier. Maybe you are able to still scrub up and find them. Yeah, Ron's finding these out funny. Yeah. That's what we were thinking about earlier was with you and the, thinking about you and these jokes. I'll turn him an update right now. I knew Wisconsin was fake. James Madison is absolutely destroying. James Madison's destroying Wisconsin. Of course, the winner of the James Madison and Wisconsin game will play Duke. Jeez. Or Butcher is talking about that's what they say about me. This guy's got chokes. Yeah. All right, here we go. 2.45 to go here in the first half of play. Richards to inbound the ball. Richards over to Napper, back towards Napper. Pass is broken up here by Wilson. Wilson gets it to Shed. Shed at the top of the key. Shed just looking for something. They're, Houston's running a little pick and roll. Here's Roberts, drives in, he loses the ball, and here comes Longwood the other way. Napper. Napper, Grenlin, Massey, drives in, shoots, we had a foul. That was Richards who shot it, but it looks like we still got a foul anyway. It looks like it'll be against Houston. All right, so here we go. Cute long one, two inbound the ball. Napper's got Napper is gonna have to inbound. Napper inbounds, gets it in towards Tuck, towards Richards, back to Napper. Napper back from Messi, gets it to Grandlin. Grandlin back to Napper. Napper tend to shoot, fires one up. Now one off the rim, rebound controlled here by Houston. Wilson's got the ball. He gets it over to Shed. Shed drives into the paint, feeds to the three-point line. Francis shot, no good. Rebound is controlled. Ah, it looked like I can see who put it up. It looked like Roberts. Couldn't tell. Oh, it was Roberts. Thirty-nine to sixteen, Longwood trailing. Here is Richards. Gets it in to Houston. Houston looks to Napper. Napper to Grandlin. Grandlin. Oh, he lost the ball. Sunderland in near the paint for Longwood. He lost the ball. Goes out of bounds. All right. Shed with the ball here for Houston. Shed at the top of the key. Looks, lays it up. Oh, nice dunk. Oh, Francis on a lot from Shed. What a dunk. Francis with the two hands on the beautiful lob pass. Got under a minute to go in the first half. Jed trying to play some good defense. It's passed in the corner, and no good. Tipped and knocked away. Roberts has got the rebound for, uh, looks like he got it for Houston. Calvin Sampson calls timeout for Houston. So Houston's going to call timeout. Huh. Houston up by 25, 41 to 16. Nice. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, Ron. Oh my goodness. Nice, said nice lob. <laughs> Lob is somewhere worse. Oh my goodness. And you guys are taking me seriously. Hey, temporary or bird watcher. Don't make me. I got my Red Sox hoodie. Don't make me uh power of my Red Sox hoodie. All right. Houston to inbound the ball. Cryer over to Shed. Shed brings it up the court. Now into the corner. What are they doing running pick and roll? Roberts. Oh, bad pass. Knocked away, but it's going to go out of bounds. Oh, the ball was deflected and went right to Kelvin Sampson. He's just like, take the ball, you dummy. All right. Houston inbounds. Shed's got the ball. Shed feeds into the corner. Francis, and we got a foul. Got a foul in the paint. And it's going to be another foul against Longwood. I sent pure adrenaline a text. Let's see what he said. Oh, yeah. You got to laugh at that. 18.8 .8 to go here in the first. Javier Francis. Two of two shooting as four points here today with three rebounds. All right, here we go. Francis at the free throw line. He's going to make the first. Birdwatcher is saying, all right, Fitz, this game's in the books. Going to finally sit down and play the show 24. Have a good one. I don't know. I haven't bought the show 24. Francis is going to make the second. It's a 27-point game. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. 15 seconds to go here in the first half. Looks like he's going to take one final shot. Napper. Napper gets it over to Massey. Massey. They all oh, stolen away here by Houston. Roberts has got the ball. Gets it to Cryer. One second left. Cryer floats it up. And it's just off the just off the backboard as we go to the second half. We're into halftime right now. 43 to 16. Houston up on top over Longwood. It's been a crushing game. 43 to 16. Jeez. He references the 87 Celtics. He's like, hey, we're not a good offensive team, but we're a great defensive team. Jeez. Yeah, so this is... I want Houston to win this one because this is the bracket. This is the game where I picked Houston to win, and I've climbed back in the standings to 14th in the league. I've currently come back to tie up with 14 and 14th place in my bracket league. Currently tied with few two people with other people. Why is everybody voting for Yukon? Like honestly. Bro. Why is everybody put everybody's putting Houston in, but they lose in the final game? Did 
there's a couple of people who just voted for uh, Kentucky to win the championship. I feel so bad for the people who voted for Kentucky in this in our uh, bracket challenge. Like I feel so bad for them because Kentucky just lost to Oakland. Like wow, I feel so bad for them. Same time, I really don't. Let's check the poll. Eight votes in the poll. Wow. Four of you guys want Longwood to win this. Uh, why? I wonder why. Three of you are here for Houston to win, and one person's like, my bracket's dead. Who cares? Well, my bracket's been dead. I do have a good... My bracket is pretty good, though. I think my bracket's pretty okay. I mean, it's literally mid, but it's not the greatest, but it's pretty good. I did not finish a women's bracket, but in the East region, I did pretty good. The West region, I'm perfect so far. West region, I'm absolutely perfect. All I got to look on is for the GCU and St. Mary's game. Grand Canyon and St. Mary's. Grand Can I picked Grand Canyon to win that one. If Grand Canyon wins that one, I will have a perfect West region for the first round. For the first round. That will be absolutely beautiful. And for the wet Midwest region, I've been like 50-50. Uh, all I got to say is, though, for the South region, Kentucky really screwed me over. Kentucky really screwed me up. So did Florida. Florida screwed me up as well. Colorado beat them by two points. That really screwed my bracket. That really screwed the South region up for me. Really did. But uh, in my final four matchups, I got Illinois, Alabama, Houston, and Tennessee. I have Alabama playing Houston in the in the championship game and Houston winning. And I put for a tiebreaker how many points will be scored, 128 points. If there's 128 points scored exactly, that would be absolutely amazing. That would be funny. Got 10 people watching. We're just under 10 likes on the stream. Somebody hit that like button. Somebody. Please. Somebody. What's this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm got now I'm just stuck in commercials. Uh if you guys want me to, I should honestly just call the Grand the Grand Canyon game. Just to be funny. But I don't feel like it. <laughs> So, and Houston absolutely like dominated that half. Mostly it's like Jamal Shed getting some stuff in there, and big shots. Let's see what's going. I won't be able to do the Bruin game tomorrow. I got some stuff to do during that game. So, sadly, wow. That game sounds like it's supposed to be on until 10.57. Jeez. Avalanche lead the Blue Jackets 3-1 to one after two periods. Kraken and Coyotes tied up at zero after one period. The Capitals beat the Hurricanes today 7-6 to six in a shootout. And the Stars beat the Penguins 4-2. to two. Other games going on tomorrow. Other games going on tomorrow. Got the Jets and Islanders at 1. The Bruins and Flyers at 1 o'clock. The Blues and Wild at 2. The Red Wings and Predators at 5. The Oilers and Maple Leafs at 7. The Senators and Devils at 7. The Panthers and Rangers at 8. The Flames and the Canucks at 10. The Blue, J the Blue Jackets and the Golden Knights at 10.30. The Lightning and the Kings at 10.30. And the Blackhawks and Sharks.
wow, it's amazing how these games have been going so far. Yeah, Houston doing well. Cryer with 13 points. Shed with nine points. Francis with six points. For Longwood, Massey's got eight. Richards has got four. Tucker's got four. Man, I said James. I People were telling me I was a fool to pick Wisconsin to beat James Madison. Boy, they're going to eat those words. Boy, they're eating those words because James Madison's winning by like has been winning. Man, they're going to eat those words when James Madison's going to win. Yeah, James Madison's winning by 13, so they eat those words, buddy. Wow, 13 turn they're talking halftime right now. 13 turn turnovers by Wisconsin in that first half. They average 11 a game. Wow, that is whew, that's bad. That's bad. Well, that's not bad. That's atrocious. Atrocious offense, I say. <laughs> Former basketball player, I can say, yeah, that's pretty bad. That's uh that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie with you. That's kind of bad. Hmm. That's, I'm a. So if Grand Canyon wins today, yeah, currently right now tied with 14th place in the bracket bracket league, out of 50 people. 50 people. I'm currently in 14th place in the league in our bracket, in my school bracket. So 50 people only entered in. Some of them were teachers. Some of them were. Somebody picked Northwestern to win it all. <laughs> somebody act. I think they just didn't care and they just randomly picked a school. It's like, ooh, it's purple. So, yeah. Their Midwest region is like entirely. Entirely just wrong because Grambling. Here's this person's final four. I'm not going to say who it is because you wouldn't know who it is anyway. Northwestern, Grand Canyon University, and J James Madison and Grambling State. This was this person's final four. I think they just did it because they don't really care. Who did my teacher pick? Why is everybody picking Houston to beat UConn to beating Houston? Like, seriously. Everybody in this bracket is literally picking Houston. Everybody is literally picking Houston to beat or UConn to beat Houston. That is hope. Like, everybody. How? I cannot believe this one person right now is every single has three games wrong. Four, actually. Four. It's like, wow. Oh, my goodness. And I am only, and I am tied for 14th place. I only have 20 points. 20 game, 20 correct. And this person's got 24. Talking about Yale's upset over Auburn. I did not expect Yale to win over Auburn. I did not even come close to thinking about them. And they somehow did that. Wow. Congratulations to Yale. But still. Wow. I did not expect that. Like, I seriously? Seriously. I would have not expected that.
I don't know what they're talking about right now. They're talking about something in half. Why are they showing food? No. No. They're showing food. I can't believe they're showing food. Gosh dang. Arby sandwiches though? Mmm. Mmm. That actually sounds good right now. Arby sandwiches. Man. Just, they're just doing a bunch of commercials currently at the moment. Nothing much going on. Oh, true TV primetime, huh? All right, 43-16, current, Houston currently on top. Man, just talking about, oh my God, Houston is so good of a team. They are. Man, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. But... Talking uh, food, they're talking food again. Chipotle now. Oh man. Now I want Chipotle. I want Chipotle now. Dang, March Madness food commercials. Ooh. <sighs> oh, okay.
All right, here we go. Looks like we're back in. It's looking like we're going back. 43-16, Houston on top here over Longwood. South region first round. Houston absolutely dominating currently to start out the half. At that first half. Oh my god, don't tell me they're going to another commercial. Jeez. They show the game and then they're like, oh, it's just a tease. We're going to go to another commercial. It's like, then go stay in commercial breaks. Just don't tell us it's like, oh, we're going to have another commercial break here in two seconds. I hate that. It's like, oh, we're back here, but we're going to show for like five seconds. But we're going to go to another commercial break. It's like, don't do that. I swear, with the food commercials today, it is a little crazy. It's just like um, the same food commercials. They have shown about every food commercial they can during halftime commercials. I am getting absolutely freaking jinxed. First, it's the rain delay. Now it's food. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Food Network. Gosh dang commercials. Man. All right. Are they going to be back for real this time? Or, man, halftime for these games is actually feels like forever. Ooh, Dave singles now. Great. All right, looks like we're back. Got to win this one. This is my tournament winner. This is my tournament winner. Houston in Longwood currently. All right, 43-16 after one half of play. Houston will have the ball to start out the second half. Sharp's got the ball for Houston. Gets it in the shed. Shed over to Sharp. He'll try a three. First shot of the half. And there's a three here from Shed. Not Shed. Sharp. Sharp from absolute long range three. And it's a 30-point game. As Napper brings it up here for Longwood. Napper looks. Passed it over to England. Back towards Napper. Napper. Oh, nearly. Houston nearly lost it. Doing some good crossovers. Houston drives in. Tries to get it over to Napper. And we got a foul. Got a foul here against Houston. It'll be a blocking foul. So 33 seconds in, a foul called against Houston. All right, so the first foul, and looks like 
Uh, looks like Houston is up to the line here for Longwood. Not a lot of fans at the game here in this March Madness first round. Longwood, Houston misses the first one. Wow. Try to at least make the second one. Houston up to the line here for Longwood. 30-point game. Got to make something here. Get something out of nothing. And he's going to make the second one. It's down to a 29-point game as Sharp inbounds it to Shed. Shed gets it over to Sharp. Sharp over to Cryer. Cryer gets it to Shed. Shed drives in, feeds to Sharp. Thought about shooting it. Now gets it back to Shed to the three-point line. Shed with 10 to go on the shot clock. Shed at the near center court. Shed down to seven seconds. Shed into Francis. Oh, what a pass. What a move into Roberts. And he lays it in for two with the left hand. And it's now third. It's now a 31-point game. Napper brings it up the court. Napper, good pick and roll. Napper into the corner. Feeds it over to Englund. He's going to try a three. And now it's just off. Rebound is controlled by Cryer. And he brings it up for Houston the other way. Cryer gets it into Sharp. Sharp hesitates. Now it goes to the top of the key. Sharp gets it into Roberts. 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 Oh, jump ball. No jump ball, actually. It's a foul. It's going to be a blocking foul against Englund here for Longwood. So Roberts is heading to the bench here for Houston. All right, Houston went two inbound. Shed's got the ball at the top of the key. Shed gets it in from Walker over to Shed. Shed drives in, lays it up with the left hand, and he gets it home to go. And the Cougars strike 50 here in, the, here in this game. Halfway to 100, boys. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood after the inbound pass. 33-point game. Napper gets it into Messi. Or Messi. There's a shot, and that one's just off. Rebound. Tucker hits off his foot, and it's going to go out of bounds. Long, uh, Houston ball. Massey just missed that last shot. As Houston brings it up the court, Shed's got it. Shed getting a screen. Inbound gets it over towards Sharp Walker out to Sharp. Sharp looks, tries to shoot it up. It's no good, but a foul will be called here against Richards as Sharp is going to go to the line. So Sharp is at the line here for two, here for the Cougars. Currently up by 33, seven and a half, 17 and a half minutes to go here in the second half. First shot from Sharp, he's going to miss the first free throw. Surprise Calvin Sampson didn't start screaming. Calvin Sampson is the definition of John Tortorella, but for NCAA basketball. It's... Really, really frustrated when something uh, really, really goes bad. He gets really, really frustrated really, really fast. But Second shot from Shed, and he's going to make the free throw. It's back to a 34-point game. As Napper brings it up the court, past center court. Napper, bad pass. Christmas over to Massey. Back to Napper. Napper gets a screen. Didn't do much, though. Napper lobs it in. Good pass to Sunderland underneath, and we're going to get a foul called against Houston. It looks like it might be against Walker. Maybe. Might be. No, they're going to call it against Francis. Call it. Looks like it'll be against Francis, actually. LJ Cryer's got 13 points today. He's three of six from shooting threes. 
First shot here from Sunderland, and he's going to make the first free throw. Sunderland at the line here for the second free throw. Made the first one earlier. Sunderland is going to make the second, so he made, he's two from two for the line. 32-point game. Shed and Bounzi gets it to Sharp. Sharp, little pass over to Shed. Shed over to Sharp. Sharp at the top of the key over to Shed now. Shed now near the Houston bench. Shed drives in, feeds. Oh, that's a bad pass, and it's knocked away by Massey. Napper, Napper tries to shoot, but he gets the ball back. It might have gotten stolen away. Napper drives back in, left hand, and he lays it in. It's out of a 30-point game. Napper's coming back. <laughs> Hope not. Oh, Cryer, beautiful move. It's gets his own rebound. Walker tried to lay it back up, and it was blocked. Christmas with the block. Here comes Napper the other way. Napper here to Christmas. Back towards Napper. Into the corner. Houston with the ball. Houston drives into the paint. Houston shoots, and that one is off. Rebound controlled by Sunderland. Sunderland. Christmas over to Houston. Houston looks corner. Christmas lays it up. That one no good. It's off the rim and Houston controls the rebound. Uh, Shed brings it up the other way. Nice little Euro step and he misses the uh, misses the shot. Rebound controlled by Sunderland. As Lundwood Longwood slows the play down. Houston's got the ball here for the Lancers. 15.40 to go. Houston gets it in a napper. Napper drives in, floats one up. It's no good, but we're going to have another foul called, and this one is going to be against Houston as they go to another TV timeout. Clock will stop here with 15.38 to go in the second half. 51-21, to 21, Houston up on top. All right. Man, these commercials with March Madness, they take forever. Like, honestly, guys. Hmm. 
All right, so it looks like they are back. All right, here we go. Back in, looks like Longwood will shoot those free throws. Maybe. <laughs> They're talking about pre-Aldrich. They had one winning season in their school history. And they never finished better than the eighth in the Big South Conference. And then when Aldrich came in, yeah, two NCAA tournament appearances. He has 20 wins, 20 plus wins in three straight seasons with Longwood. Napper at the free throw line here for Longwood, 21 51 in favor of Houston. Napper's going to make the first one. Twenty-two to fifty-one favor of Houston on top. Fifteen and a half, fifteen thirty-eight to go here in the second, and Napper is going to make the second one. As Dunn will inbound it here for Houston, gets it into Cryer. Cryer's got the ball, brings it up the court. Houston might be killing time off the clock. Cryer drives in, looking. Cryer lays it up, and it's in. Jeez, whatever Longwood does, Houston just instantly responds. Napper brings it up. Napper gets it into Massey. Massey into, gets it to, ah, can't even read the jersey. Napper. Napper looks Englund. Englund looks to Houston. Houston. Feeds it to the corner. Eglin's got it. Eglin lays it up. That one blocked. Sharp's got the ball now here for Houston. 25 seconds to go on the shot clock. Sharp lays it up with the left hand, and he puts it in. Wow, this score is a work of art. It is a work of art. 55 to 23. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. Napper looking for something. Longwood, one for six from the field. Here in the second half, Napper gets it over to Massey in the corner. Houston, he'll try a long three, and he gets the three to go. They finally get a big three to go. Wilson's got the ball here for Houston, 26 to 55. Cryer with the ball for the Cougars. Cryer gets it towards Wilson. Wilson over to Sharp. Sharp to Cryer. Cryer, pass. Oh, there's a shot by Lath. He couldn't bury it, but he gets it back and puts it in. Oh, it was Cryer. Never mind. Cryer. Shortwood. Nice name. It's funny. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. 57 and 26. Napper looking. Pass to Houston. Houston into Tucker. Tucker back towards Houston, and that one's knocked away. Another steal here by Dunn. Dunn brings it up to the three-point line, gets it into Cryer. Cryer looking for the pick and roll to develop. Cryer with a good move, drives in, fakes his shot, gets it to Dunn. He's going to try a three, and he connects from three. And the Cougars are now up to 60 points. We got a timeout. Timeout called by Longwood as they're going to burn their third timeout. As they go to another TV timeout, they're going to step aside. 60 to 26. Houston is on top here over Longwood. Ooh, breaking news. The Chiefs are training corner Legereus Sneed to the Tennessee Titans for a 2025 third round pick and a 2024 seventh round pick. Hmm. So, RC, how's the women's bracket going along? I don't know how the women's bracket is because I haven't even put anything up. Ooh, did I pick TCU or... Utah State to win their matchup. That was in the Midwest region. I can't remember if I picked TCU or Utah State. 
I have to look. Midwest. I picked. I picked Utah State, and they're winning by. They're winning by six. James Madison's only winning by eleven. I had James Madison beating Wisconsin. That's State Farm commercial. It's funny. I'd like to see how the women's tournament's going on. I don't watch much of that one, but ooh, North Carolina beat Michigan State 59 to 56. Ohio State beat Maine 80 to 57. MTCU beat Louisville 71 to 69. South Carolina beat Presbyterian 91 to 39. Holy crap. Jeez. Duke beat Richmond 72 to 61. Texas beat Drexel 82 to 42. Virginia Tech beat Marshall 92 to 49. LSU beat Rice 70 to 60. Kansas State beat Portland 75 to 65. Alabama beat Florida State 82 to 74. Baylor beat Vanderbilt 80 to 63. Colorado beat Drake 86 to 72. Iowa State beat Maryland 93 to 86. And Oregon State beat Washington 73 to 50. 51. All right, here we go. After the Longwood timeout, there's a little kid just looking at Longwood right now. All right, looks like Christmas will inbound here for Longwood. Christmas to inbound. He gets it into Houston. Houston in center right at center. Winner of this game will play Texas A&M. Here's Napper with a long three. That one's off. Rebound controlled by Houston. And that one knocked away a shed. Gets the rebound for the Cougars. Shad's got the ball. He gets it to Sharp. 12.45 to go here in the second half. Shed. Shed's pass is knocked away, and it's controlled here by Longwood. Napper is going to go to the rim and lay it in. And it's down to a 32-point game as Shed brings it up to court. Houston, only, Houston is up here by 32. Shed's got the ball. He gets it over to Wilson. Wilson drives in. Sharp over to Shed. Shed fakes the shot. Looking. Drives. Feeds. Sharp for three. Good. Good evening, Spaceman. Good evening. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing today, Spaceman? I know I'm lagging there, but how you doing? Houston brings it up here for Longwood. My earbuds say they're at 20% at 10% battery, but I just used this one. Oh, Napper lost the ball. Went out of bounds. Spaceman's just chilling. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just chilling here, calling some March Madness. Well, I got the opportunity to. Spaceman says, just got five votes on my NL East poll. Nice. I know I voted on it. What did I vote for? I think I voted for the Braves. I think I voted for the Braves in that poll. Let me check. I'll check it again. Yeah. 
Let's see. I did vote. Oh, I voted for the Phillies, actually. Voted for the Phillies. And sadly, I feel like I only got three on my AL East one. Ah, uh, you only got three. Yeah. Well, at least you got some people voting in it. At least that's good, right? At least you got some people voting on it. I know I voted for my Red Sox, even though they're not going to even come close to winning the division. They ain't even going to come close. Unless we count last place winning the division, then yeah. We win something in the division. Last place award. Jeez. Oh, sorry. Due to our spring training so far. Spaceman, how did that how did that Yankees game go that I was partially covering? How did that go? I didn't watch most of it. I watch your watched like what half the game? Like maybe a quarter of the second and third innings. I didn't watch it for too long. Because my team was in a rain delay. All right. Shed's got the ball here for the Cougars. 11.45 to go. Francis, look. Oh, that's done. Shoots that one knocked away. We got a foul. Another foul against Longwood. Yankees won 5-3. Okay. Because I know it was 2-0 Mets earlier in the game when I stopped calling it. So Dunn is at the line here for the Cougars. You know, Utah State, I had predicted beating TCU. They're winning. As first one's good here by by Dunn. James Madison's only winning by nine over Wisconsin. And Grand Canyon's losing by one to St. Mary's. God damn. Don't know what you're saying, but let's go. Houston, he misses the shot and rebounds controlled by Massey. And here comes Longwood the other way as Napper brings it up to center. Napper's got the ball at the top of the key, top of the three-point line. Past 11 and a half minutes to go here in the second. Here's Napper. Nearly lost his dribble, but he gets the ball back. Napper feeds to, here over to Christmas. Christmas to Massey. Massey, good pump fake. Gets it over to Christmas. Now to Len, uh, Sunderland, and he couldn't get it. Rebounds controlled by Sharp. He brings it up. Sharp. He'll try a three. And he shoots the three and he buries it home. Second three of the half here for Sharp. Wow, this game is a beatdown. As Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. Napper over to Massey. Massey looks. Feeds in the corner. Houston's got it. Houston looking, oh, falls down, and we got a foul against the Cougars. It looks like it's against Wilson. All right, here we go. I long one to inbound. They get it over to Grandlin. Grandlin, that one knocked away. Sunderland lays it up, and that one's no good. Rebound controlled by Wilson. Wilson brings it up the floor, gets it to Shed. Shed lobs it up into Francis, and he lobs it up and gets it in. Houston up by 41. 
Napper brings it up the floor here for Longwood. Gets it into Christmas. Now into Sunderland, and he dunks it home. Or Zapala, my bad. Zapala dunks it home. Finally cross 30. Shed drives into the paint. Shed gets it into Dunn. Dunn now at the top of the key. Dunn passes it back. Wilson over to Shed. Shed in the corner. Now near the wing. Now drives into the paint. Lobs it up to Francis. And he couldn't dump it, dunk it home. But we got a late whistle. Got a late whistle. So let's see. Yeah, so Spaceman didn't see, didn't know if you saw this. Greatest hoodie. My great hoodie. Best hoodie in the world. Red Sox hoodie. Francis is going to miss the first free throw here for Houston. Trying to get him to 70. Calvin Sampson's like, hey, hit your free throws. And Francis misses his second, misses both free throws, 69-30. to 30. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. Napper gets it to Houston, over to Christmas. Christmas over to Houston. Houston over to Napper. Napper gets it into Tucker. Tucker looks, passes, broken up. We got a whistle. Nine fourteen to go here in the second half. Longwood to inbound gets it to Tucker. Tucker over to Napper. Out to Houston. Granlin. Christmas tough three. Now on in and out. Rebound controlled by Dunn. Dunn gets it to Shed. Shed brings it up the floor. Gets it to Francis. Tries to shoot it. No good. That was Lath actually. Lath trying to shoot it. And we're gonna have a foul. And it'll be against Tucker. And. Another foul against Longwood. Once again, if you are new to our channel, my channel, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. As Houston is currently demolishing the Lancers from Longwood by 39 points. Trying to at least get up to 70 right now. As Lath is going to miss the free throw. Calvin Sampson is not happy about missing these free throws. A lot of empty seats at the FedEx Forum. And he's going to miss the second. Wow. Jeez. Grandlin's got the rebound. Gets it to Napper. Napper. Double teamed. Shot. Here by Richards. Missed. Rebound controlled by Houston. We got a uh, whistle. Got another whistle. So let's see who this foul is up against. Didn't see who they called it against. Oh, it's going to be. Looks like it's against uh, Longwood. Houston ball. Shed is going to take it up the court. 840 to go here in the second half. Shed in the corner near the Houston bench. Shed being double teamed. Now charges in, lobs it up, and tried to get it to Wilson, but it was knocked away here. As here comes Longwood the other way. Houston with the ball. Houston looks, gets it into Richards, shoots from the free throw line. He airballs it, tries to get it to Tucker. Got a foul, it looks like. Cougars going to be called here for a foul. All right. 
Here is Nap Napper off the inbound, shoots, and he hits it home. He gets the shot. 69 to 32. As here comes Houston the other way. Wilson looks. Gets it over to Walker. Walker's got it. Over to Sharp. Sharp in the corner. Sharp over to Wilson. Wilson at the top of the key. 7.50 to go. Wilson looks. Shot clock down to three. He gets it over to Dunn. Dunn has to shoot it. And that one is off the rim. Rebound controlled by Wilson. He gets it with the left hand and he puts it in. Thought that Houston, not the Cougars were going to get a shot clock violation, but instead they get the left hand to lay in there by Wilson. As here comes Longwood the other way. Napper at the top of the key. Looks, gets it in towards Richards. Richards going to have a foul. Another foul. Looks like it's against Houston. As they're going to go to another TV timeout. 7.18 to go here in the half. Seventy-one to thirty-two, Houston up on top. I mean, they're talking about James Madison up at upsetting Wisconsin, talking about a big upset. It's not really a huge upset if you think about it. Not the biggest of upsets. All right, getting near the final minutes here of this game. Man, no more commercials here for this game. Getting a little tired of all these dang commercials. Wow, I just realized something. There, I fixed it. All right. Once again, if you're new to our channel, to drop a like down below. Subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you're so you guys know when we do go live or on any streams. All right, 71 to 32, Houston up on top here over Longwood. I know there's some people, I think there's somebody I know who said Longwood was going to beat Houston. I'm like, nope. Houston has held opponents to fewer than 60 points in 20 of their game, 20 games this year, as most in the D1 level this season in the NCAA. Wow, that's impressive. All right. So Richards is going to go to the line here for Longwood. He's only had four points on one of four shooting. All right. Richards is going to make the first free throw. So he's going to another, get another free throw here on the one and one. All right. Richards 
is going to um, make the second one. Sharp's got the ball here for Houston, here for the Houston Cougars. About seven minutes to go. Well, 7-10 actually. There you go. Here's Sharp. Sharp gets it to Wilson. Wilson drives in mid-range. Wilson thinking about a fadeaway. Now goes to the free throw line. Gets it back to Sharp. Under seven minutes to go. Shot clock is down to five. Sharp lays it up. No good, but we got a foul. It's going to be a reach-in foul. Might be against Messi or Massey. Poole putting in the popcorn, three popcorns. I thought it was supposed to be three craps. All right, I'm back, says Spaceman. Yeah. Sharp is going to the line. Get another few free throws. Sharp is going to miss the free throw. Oh, my God. Easy, buddy. Easy. <laughs> easy, Samson. Easy. Sharp is going to make the second. Napper's got the ball here for Longwood. 34 to 72 in favor of Houston. Napper drives in. Fakes, feeds, Richards lays it up and gets it in off the backboard. As Sharp is going to inbound, he gets it over to Wilson. Wilson over to Sharp. Sharp. Sharp back towards Walker. Walker over to Wilson. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Wilson's going to try a long three and he hits it from deep. Oh, the craps are for permanent tempos for permanent temporary stream. Gotcha. For temp for tempo perm. Jeez. Gotcha, pool. Oh, just had the KFC's Cheesa. Ooh. Grandlin. Over towards Massey. Massey. Over to Zapala. Zapala back to net back to Napper. Napper. Massey to Massey. He drives in. Shoots. That one got blocked, but a foul. All right, here we go. 5.45 to go in the second half. Massey at the line here for Longwood, and he's going to make the first one. Well, it looks like San looks like uh, Houston's just going to put out their bench players. Guard price is saying, got home. And came and hit that like button. Have the great rest of your dream uh, stream. You too. Thanks for coming in, Card Chris. Spaceman's got to tell us more about this KFC's cheese up. I've heard it's really good, but I haven't tried it yet. Here's Sharp brings it up for Houston. Five and a half minutes to go. Sharp. Elvin looks towards Sharp. Sharp at the three point line drives in. Sharp lays it up, and it went knocked away. Houston still got the ball. Wilson now shoots mid-range. That one's just off. Rebound control by Napper. Napper brings it up the other way here for Longwood. Napper at the free throw line. Now goes to the three-point line. Looks, gets it into Massey. Massey stops. Fires it into the corner. Christmas out to Houston. Houston into Zapala, and he's going to dunk it home with the two hands. As Longwood's finally got 40 points compared to Houston 75 as Sharp gets it to Wilson over to Sharp again. Dunn's got it now. Dunn with a, Dunn with a good move. Four, about 4.35 to go in the second. Dunn spinning shot, fires, and he gets it home. Spinning shot. Will fade away there actually. As Longwood brings it up the court again, Napper's got it. Napper gets it to Massey at the three point line. Over to Houston in the corner. He'll try a three. 
And that one's off. Rebound controlled by Dunn for Houston. As Dunn brings it up the floor. Dunn over to Wilson. Wilson. Four minutes to go here in the second. Wilson. Thought about shooting a three. Now he gets it over to Dunn, who will shoot a three. And that one is off. Ball's loose, and it's going to go out of bounds as they rule a long wood ball with 3.56 to go. Spaceman says, I got to say, it's not that bad. Hmm. I have to try it now. I'm going to check the... Uh, well, not too bad for the stream highlight. Not too bad for the uh, stream numbers. A lot of people, it's nobody, everybody's really split on who they want in the, who they want to win this one. But like I said, I want Houston to win this one because I have them winning the national championship. So, yeah, I kind of want them to win this game. I really want them to win. You know, because my, my bracket kind of depends on it. My Yeah, I had Houston winning the entire thing. Illinois and Alabama, once again, here's my final four. Alabama and Illinois, Houston and Tennessee. Alabama plays Houston, and the national champion is Houston. That is my final four. Uh, under four minutes to go, so this game's probably just going to end before midnight. How many more? Honestly, the only bad thing about March Madness is how long the gosh dang commercials are. Like, seriously, how long do these commercials need to be? Still got 14 people, though, watching this game. Thanks, guys, for at least sticking through this, even though it's been an absolute blowout. All right, so the winner of that, they're talking about the James Madison and Wisconsin game again. Winner of James, that game will play Duke. All right, here we go. Longwood to inbound the ball. Napper's got it. 350 to go here in the second half. Napper over to Massey. Back to Napper. Tucker, or Richards, actually. Pass. Christmas lost the ball. It's going to go out of bounds. Houston ball. 3.39 to go. Tomorrow's team. Uh, looks like Dayton and Arizona. That'll be on CBS, Gonzaga, and Kansas. I can see the other games. Alvin's got the ball here for Houston. Over to Wilson. Wilson to Dunn. Done. Shot clock down to 10. Done. Fires one up. Now one way off the board, and we got a foul. The officials are calling a ref 
foul here against Longwood. That'll send Dunn to the free throw line. 3.18 to go here in the second half. Damian Dunn was 60, uh, his season free throw percentage, 68.8%. See if Houston can get 80 points. Dunn makes the first free throw. 78 to 40. Don is going to make the second one. All right, so here we go. Massey's got the ball. Good fake here by Richards. Back to Napper. Over to Richards. Richards thought about shooting it. Gets it into Christmas. Christmas lays it up. Good block here by Laugh. And Wilson's got the ball here for the Cougars. Wilson feeds to the corner. Elvin will try a three. That one's off. Laugh tried to dunk it. And we got offensive interference on Elvin, looks like. Hmm. So 79 to 40, Houston up on top here over Longwood. 252, 252 to go with 30 second shot clock. Napper's got it. Over to Richards. Back out to Napper. Richards in the corner now. Out to Christmas. In to Tucker. Tucker skyhook shot. Foul called. And that'll be against Houston. So Tucker is going to go to the line. Now Longwood currently being demolished by over 30 points. Elijah Tucker at the line, and he's going to make the first. Tucker's going to try to shoot the second, and he will make the second. As Wilson's going to inbound the ball, there's going to be a quick substitutions here for Longwood. Here's Wilson the other way here for Houston. Out to Elvin. Elvin uh, near the three-point line. It's over to Walker. Walker over to Wilson. Wilson drives in. Wilson lays it up, and he banks it in right off the glass, and it's 81-42. to 42. Here's Longwood the other way. Napper's got the ball. He gets it into over to Massey. Massey over to Napper. Napper, good move. Looking, still looking around. Napper, pass back towards Massey. Now it's a bad pass, and it's going to be Houston ball, 159 to go. All right, Wilson's got the ball here for Houston. Over to Ellen. Elvin's got it. Looks to Wilson. Wilson. Out to Dunn. Dunn. Looks at the key. Dunn passes it to Elvin. Fakes. Now fires one up. Elvin misses. Rebound Wilson. Chips it back out. He gets his own. Gets the rebound. Wilson at the top of the key. Now goes towards center court. Got a minute and a half to go. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Elvin's got the ball. Elvin looks. Elvin trying to shoot. Elvin fires one up with the right-handed sky hook, and he bats it in. Somehow gets it in. Eighty-three to forty-two. Here's Els Morado. Passes it into Tucker or Christmas like goaltending.
the ball here for Houston under a minute to go. Elvin's got the ball. Elvin with Elvin looking for something. Gets it to Wilson. Wilson. 50 seconds to go here in this game. Wilson at center court. Now gets it over to Elvin. Elvin. Seven seconds. Fires one up. Up and hits it home for the three. 35 seconds to go. Longwood inbounds. Gets it to Christmas. Christmas slabs it up and he's going to hit it with the left hand. 40 point game. All right. Wilson's got. Cougars inbound. Wilson's got it. 20 seconds to go in the half. Houston's just going to dribble the dribble this clock, and that's going to end it. So Houston is going to move on and play Texas A&M in the round of 32. Houston is going to roll over Longwood by a score of 86 to 46. So Houston with a big win right there. As I'm still currently in. That was a little bit of an exhausting game, not going to lie with you. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys later. I'm exhausted. Thank you guys for coming on by. Um, I will see you in a later stream, hopefully soon. I don't know about tomorrow, but I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, everybody.